personal finance is personal. It's relational. It has to do with people. It is not pure math. Math is only part of the equation. It is art and science. It is the art of human beings and wisdom interspersed with mathematics. When you combine the two with wisdom, you get an accurate picture and you make wise decisions. When you make decisions on personal finance based only on relationships and completely ignore mathematics, you make a bad decision. When you make decisions based only on mathematics and ignore the relational implications of your stupid moves, then you're getting ready to discover what stupid does. It leaves a mark. An example of that is when you want to co-sign a loan for your friend. That's stupid. It says it in the Bible. Proverbs 17, 18. Contemporary English version. It is stupid to co-sign a loan for someone. That's what it says in the Bible. If you don't like that version, you could go to the New King James. It says, one lacking in sense signs surety for another. It's a nicer way of saying it's stupid. You know why? Because lenders do nothing but lend money. Asking a banker to loan you money is like asking a dog if it's hungry. Of course they want to loan you money. No doubt about it, they want to loan you money. And if those people whose whole reason for being, the reason they think God put them on the planet is to make loans so that they can make their quota and their boss smiles, if they won't make little Junior a loan to buy a truck, it's because little Junior's not going to pay the bill. And when you sign, co-sign with little Junior, you're going to get bit, dummy. I know this because it happened to me. I was stupid, and I co-signed two loans, and I ended up paying them. One guy was stupid to co-signed a loan for me. When I went bankrupt, he ended up paying it. I had to go back and pay him back because I didn't have any money, and they went after him. It's stupid, and he's a good friend, and it puts stress on our relationship. It really put stress on his wife. She was not happy. Don't blame her, because she's looking at both of us going, you two guys are stupid. And she was right. She was mad. I understand. Went back and paid her back, but she still has always looked at us and went, you two are stupid. You can't hang out together. When you're hanging out together, stupid stuff happens. That's relationships. And when the Bible says the borrower is slave to the lender, that is not optional. That is a fact. And what that means is when you borrow money from someone, borrow money from your friend, you just changed the relationship with your friend from friendship to master-slave. When you borrow money from your mommy at no interest, because your mommy says that's mathematically smart, and deep down inside, your mommy has control issues because she's still interfering in her grown kids' affairs. But we're trying to save on the interest, and we're mathematical geniuses, but we ignore the relational impact and the change in the relationship from mother to grown son to master slave. Thanksgiving dinner tastes different when you eat with your master. My wife's daddy is one of the sweetest, most saintly men I've ever met in my life. And he loaned us a little money when we went bankrupt to try to keep the lights on in the house. And it changed our relationship. He didn't ever say a negative thing. He never one time. But I felt different. And I felt different every time I walked into his house, every time I walked into his presence until I got that loan paid. You can't keep that from happening. It's not optional. And to ignore the wisdom of that 
and say, oh, well, it's mathematics. We're, I'm getting free interest, and everyone should get all the free interest they should get. Let's go deeply in debt and stay there forever because there's no interest. That's just stupid. It's just dumb. And I'm not going to argue with you about it. If you don't think that's the way it is, then don't call the show. It's okay. I'm not going to have an argument with you about it. This is the way it is. Don't loan your children money for the down payment on their first home. These are going to be the parents of your grandchildren, and you're going to change your relationship with them until they get that stupid butt second mortgage that mommy loaned them, daddy loaned them, paid back. Don't do that. If you want to help your grown children with money and you have some money, give it to them. I don't mind you giving them some money. As long as it's done in a healthy way and there's not strings attached, not control freaking, and all that kind of thing, give it to them. But don't loan people that you like money because you change the relationship. There's shame. There's control issues. They look and go, where'd y'all go on vacation? Why, you still owe us money? You went to Disney World? This is the kind of crap that happens. And it's not even subtle in most families. Most families are just pretty abusive to each other. In others, it's just passive-aggressive. In others, it's just one little eye roll that chills the whole room and changes the entire dinner party. This is personal finance, boys and girls. It's also personal. And if you don't accept that, you are being naive and unwise, and you're going to cause problems in your life. So use some sense. The old joke is if you loan your brother-in-law $100 and he never speaks to you again, was it worth the money? <laughs> Possibly. Depends on the brother-in-law. <laughs> my case, I got good brother in law so I wouldn't worry about it. But <laughs> I'm blessed. Oh, But, I mean, you know, think about it. It does. How many times have you loaned somebody money, just, just a friend at work, your roommate, you gave them 50 bucks, and they're going to pay you back on payday. Well, then something happens. And then something happens. And then stuff happens. And all of a sudden, you've messed up your friendship. You were trying to help, but you didn't understand this principle. And the principle is that you're a slave when you borrow money. Even if your master is a nice, good master, they're still your master. Some masters are nicer than others. My father-in-law, very sweet man. He put nothing on me. No eye rolls, no condemnation, no control, no nothing. He ne never one time said a negative thing. It was all in my head, all in my spirit, all in my busted honor, my integrity, my brokenness from having gone broke, and I'm still trying to take care of his daughter as her husband, and I can't, and he has to step in. See, all of that's mixed up in this horrible little gumbo down inside your spirit, right? Bad stuff, y'all. And this is how life works. And again, that that's all on me. It's 100% my fault. But all it was was I did not accept the truth of these principles, the wisdom of these principles. And so don't loan your children money, even if it's interest-free. Don't loan money to anyone unless you want to cause problems in the relationship. And only a fool cosigns. Don't be a fool. Bad stuff happens to fools. I've been a fool. It leaves a mark. Don't do that. <laughs> 